you most beautiful and most amazing top tenors, I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today I have a major babe joining me in the studio. Holla at you, Courtney McGinley. Hi guys! So Courtney is from Landon's first channel, Landon Production. Yes, on that channel we talk about news, trending stories every day, and we also have some top tens on that channel as well, so make sure you subscribe and check it out. Today we are talking the top ten movies that are based on real life events. So life be getting super duper Hollywood. Are you ready for this, Miss McGinley? Hell yeah! Whoa! Number 10, we have Psycho. So who knew that Alfred Hitchcock's thriller Psycho was based on a true story? Creepy. The story of the murderous Norman Bates who killed guests at his motel is rooted in real life. Bates's character was inspired by the Wisconsin murderer Ed Gein, also known as the Mad Butcher. Gein was affected by his mother's death and began to create a woman's suit so he could climb in her and become his mother. Too much weird. Similarly, Bates preserves his mother's corpse and regularly becomes her in fits of hysteria. If you're feeling a bit scared, let's change the subject and talk about dolphins. And at number 9, we have Dolphin Tail. This beloved children's movie, directed by Charles Martin Smith, came out in 2011. And it's based off the true story of Winter, who's a bottlenose dolphin that was rescued off the Florida coast in December 2005. Winter had lost her tail after being caught in some ropes attached to a crab trap. She was taken in by Clearwater Marine Aquarium. She worked with the aquarium's employees and was rehabilitated and fitted with a prosthetic tail. This movie is very accurate in its reenactments of the events that happened. And the movie went over really well with audiences, and it earned $95.5 million in the box office, off of a $37 million budget. People loved it so much that the team decided to make a sequel, Dolphin Tale 2, which was released back in September 12, 2014. Yay, that sounds like a really, really happy story. Dolphins are great. You know what isn't great, however? Getting stuck in a hole. In at number 8, we have 127 Hours. The 2010 movie directed by Danny Boyle and starring James Franco is awesome. All about the drama as a guy essentially gets stuck while on a hiking adventure and then, spoiler, has to cut his own arm off to get free. Oh, I'm never gonna be the same again after watching that. The story is very, very closely based on events experienced in real life by Aaron Ralston. In 2003, Aaron was hiking and canyoning in Utah's Canyonlands National Park when a boulder fell and trapped him in a slot canyon. This is probably one of my worst nightmares. All alone, Aaron films himself while he's stuck to try and lighten the mood. He then tries to chip away at the boulder to no avail. Then his drinking water starts running really, really low. Eventually, Eventually, he gets desperate and realizes that if he applies a torque, he can amputate his own arm. He then encounters a family as he hikes for seven hours to find help. All true, seriously. Danny Boyle worked with Aaron Ralston to retell his story on the big screen. While a couple of small details were changed, Aaron said that the film is so factually accurate, it is as close to a documentary as you can get and still be a drama. What a guy. Speaking of crazy survival stories, next up we have Soul Surfer coming in at number 7. The 2011 movie starring Anna Sophia Robb is based off of a story that made headlines and shocked people worldwide. This movie is based off the real life events of Bethany Hamilton. And her brush with death. Bethany is an American professional surfer who, on October 31st, 2003, survived a shark attack in which her left arm was bitten off. At the time, she was only 13 years old. So basically, it was early in the morning and she headed to the tunnels with her best friend, her best friend's father, and brother. She went out onto the water and was lying on her surfboard with her left arm dangling in the water. All of a sudden, a 14 foot long shark attacked her, biting off her left arm just below the shoulder. She was rushed to the hospital, but once there, she had already lost over 60% of her blood. She spent a week in recovery and was then released. Despite all this trauma, she was determined to return to surfing. And just one month after the attack, she was back on her surfboard. All of this is shown in the movie. Bethany wanted the movie to be very true to the events that happened. After the accident, Bethany went to appear on many talk shows. And in 2004, she even won the ESPY award for the best comeback athlete. And in 2004, she wrote the book Soul Surfer, which the movie is based off of. What an inspiring tale. So from sharks in the water to sharks in the medical profession, at number six, we have Dallas Buyers Club. The Academy Award winning Dallas Buyers Club is largely credited with being a consolidator in the reconnaissance. 
aka the rebirth of leading actor Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey plays Ron Woodruff, an electrician and rodeo cowboy who is diagnosed with HIV. Ron eventually fights the Food and Drug Association for better drugs to help fight HIV, finding a better and healthier alternative that is not yet approved in the US. Eventually Ron sets up the Dallas Buyers Club to illegally sell the new drug to those suffering with AIDS and HIV. So all of the above is taken from the real life story of Ron Woodruff, the only things that are heavily fabricated in the film are the characters of Rayon and Dr. Eve Sachs who are created for drama purposes. From one movie starring Matthew McConaughey, we have another movie that he featured in. In at number 5 we have Wolf of Wall Street. This 2013 movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Matthew McConaughey and Margot Robbie is a pretty fair depiction of the real life events that took place in Jordan Belfort's life. In this movie we have Belfort in his early 20s and he takes an entry level position at a Wall Street brokerage firm. Shortly after he ends up owning his own firm and he makes a huge fortune by defrauding wealthy investors out of millions of dollars. He has a crazy life made up of drugs, sex and alcohol and all the while the FBI are closing in on taking him down. There are some crazy scenes in this movie that believe it or not are real. For example, Belfort did abuse cocaine and other drugs. He did almost crush a helicopter into his yard while he was high on quaaludes, as well as crashing his Lamborghini while he was on the same drug. His yacht did sink in a Mediterranean storm and he did strike his wife. After all this, in 1999, Belfort pleaded guilty to securities fraud and money laundering. He was sentenced in 2003 to 4 years in prison but only served 22 months. He published his first memoir, The Wolf of Wall Street in 2008, which is what this movie is based off of. He actually even appeared in the movie. At the end, he's the person who introduces Leo's character onto the stage at the Straight Line seminar. And nowadays, Belfort is a motivational speaker. To be honest, I would definitely go to one of Jordy Belfort's talks because, you know, all that Matthew McConaughey stuff. He's an empowering man. Leo, Leo everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Leo for King! Next up, a movie that finally got him his Oscar. At number four, we have The Revenant. Academy Award winning The Revenant was all anybody could talk about when the film came out at the very end of 2015. Leonardo DiCaprio made headlines as he slept in an animal carcass and ate raw bison liver and, along with the film crew, filmed in temperatures of negative 25 Celsius and below. Whoa! Talk about suffering for your art. Surely scenarios this extreme couldn't have come from real life, but they did. Leonardo plays Henry Glass, a real historic fur trapper alive in the early 19th century. Director and co-screenplay writer Alejandro Inarritu took a few liberties with the story which was actually way less biographical than some others in this list. That said, Henry Glass did survive a bear attack and the story between him and John Fitzgerald did largely play out the way described in the movie, although in real life nobody was killed. From a real life story during which nobody was killed to a real story where actually a whole lot of people were killed, in at number 3 we have Pocahontas. Believe it or not, this beloved 19 1995 Disney movie is based off of a true story. Pocahontas was actually based off a real Native American woman who was born in 1595. She was given the birth name Madawaka, but Pocahontas was her childhood nickname which translated into Little Wonton, which meant she was playful and hard to control. Much like the storyline of this movie, Pocahontas was the daughter of the chief, and she's most notable in real life for her association with the colonial settlement in Jamestown in Virginia. Also, she did save Englishman John Smith's life when he was an Indian captive. And much like the movie, she saves him by placing her head on top of his head while her father rises his club war to execute him. However, according to historical records, these two were not lovers. But her story does continue on, and here are some things that are not shown in the movie. In 1613, Pocahontas was captured by the English, and she was held for ransom. During her captivity, she converted to Christianity, and she was given the name Rebecca. Shortly after, she was given the opportunity to return to her people, but she chose to stay with the English. And then, in April 1614, she married a tobacco planter named John. Rolf, and this couple had a son together who they named Thomas. Then, just a few years later, in 1617, Pocahontas died at the young age of 21 due to unknown causes. Ah, oh, I absolutely loved that movie as a child, although this next one was my absolute favourite. At number two, we have The Sound of Music. America's much loved 1965 smash hit movie, The Sound of Music, has gone down in the ages as something of an icon. Directed by Robert Weiss and famously starring Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer, the heartfelt tale of a nun working with a widowed man and his family amid World War II in Austria won four Academy Awards. It is true that millions of people loved the story of the Von Trapps, but many do not know the film is based on a 
real story. The story of the real Von Trapps. Georg Von Trapp really was a naval officer opposed to the Nazis. Maria really was a nun who came to work with the family after Georg's wife died. The pair really did get married, the family really did sing together and they did really escape Italy. However, they did not climb over the Alps but instead they just boarded a train. Which makes a lot of sense really. There are many differences to the family's true story to that depicted in the film. For example, in real life Georg and Maria married for convenience rather than love. But Hollywood knows what the people want to hear and also Maria did say in real life that she learned to love him. We just didn't have that time in the movie. So I must say like Rebecca, Sound of Music is one of my favorite movies too, it is just such a good story. Ok so we've reached that all important moment in our most amazing top 10 movies based on real events. And at number 1, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is one of the most popular and scary horror movies out there. What makes it even creepier is that it's based off of a true story. This movie has a total of 6 different remakes. The oldest one, the original dating back to 1974 and then the newest one being 2013. Which also just so happens to be in 3D because you know apparently someone going around killing people with a chainsaw was starting to lose its scare factor. In this movie we follow 2 teenage siblings and 3 of their friends who go to visit their grandfathers grave. They pick up a creepy hitchhiker who ends up killing himself and one of their friends. And then they end up at a home of a murderous cannibalistic family. This movie is made up of a leather faced chainsaw wielding maniac, a grave robbing brother and a cannibal chef father. And let's not forget their decaying grandfather. This movie has been depicted as being inspired by a true story. However, it's actually only lately based off of the real life murderer Ed Gein, who was suspected of taking many lives between 1954 and 1957. One huge difference is that Ed didn't use a chainsaw to kill his victims, he actually used a pistol. However one huge similarity is that Ed did wear a human scalp and face when he would go out and kill. I wish this could have been the part that wasn't true because it's so freaky. However unlike the movie Ed did not wear the human flesh because of his skin condition, but rather he had a desire to be a woman. He even wore a vest of skin that included breasts and he would strap female genitalia above his own. So safe to say the true story was actually creepier than the movie, didn't think that was possible. So there we have it, I can't believe that number 10 on the list and number 1 on the list was based from a real life murderer yeah. and the same guy. I know. To be honest though, Hollywood directors who are obviously watching this, I think that you should just make like a real life story of Ed Gein because actually, as you said, his killings were way more terrifying yeah. than the movies they inspired. It would definitely get a lot of views. I think so. Yeah. And we could star in it, although I don't want to die. <laughs> so that was our top 10 movies based on real life events. Thank you, Courtney, so much Any for coming time. in. Anytime. Obviously, you guys are going to head on over to Landon Production now and check out some of her other videos. Do it. And also, both Courtney and I have vlog channels. What's yours? So it's Courtney McGinley Vlogs. Courtney McGinley Vlogs. Yes, and yours is Rebecca Felgate. No. <laughs> are you going to be English? I'm trying to. I can't Rebecca do it. Felgate official. So you can check us both out there. So thank you very much for joining us on Most Amazing Top 10. Yes. Be sure to like this video if you liked it, share it with a friend, and of course subscribe to both Most Amazing Top 10 and Landon Production. Good job. See ya. Bye.